latest project that I'm working on is the evolution of bodybuilding. I saw there was a big void in our sport that there wasn't a collection of bodybuilders together on one celluloid, so to speak. These iconic figures that started bodybuilding were getting older, and it's going to be a matter of time before some of them start leaving the planet Earth. What better way to capture their footprint of being here than having them on one documentary talking about their time on the Olympia stage? So I went to the top of the food chain. I went over and I talked to Joe Weider. Joe Weider's 90 years old. I took the film crew down there, Trick Entertainment, joined up with Sean Ray Productions. We went down and sat with Joe Weider and got as much as we could get out of a 90-year-old person that's really seen and done it all. And without him, we wouldn't have the sport of bodybuilding as it is today. His nephew, Eric Weider, who's running the, the supplement side of the Weider franchise, is over there. He gave us some great insights to what the Weider family are doing now and what his father, Ben, did as the president and CEO of the International Federation of Bodybuilding. Of course, we knew it started with Larry Scott in 1965. I was born that year. During the time we saw Malcolm X get shot, two years prior we saw President John F. Kennedy get murdered. A couple years before that we were going to war with the Cuban Missile Crisis and we just started Vietnam. I mean, sitting across from Larry Scott saying, how in the hell could you possibly train in that economical and political climate? Very few of the bodybuilders were political. Very few of the bodybuilders really were focused on finance. They were focusing on being the best bodybuilder they could be. So these stories I'm getting from these bodybuilders from the old school, I'm bringing them back into focus. And we work our way towards the Ronnie Coleman's and the Dexter Jackson's and Jay Cutler. You also see them getting younger. Joe's 90 and Larry Scott's 72 and Border Coe's in his 60s. So it's really interesting to watch us go from a crown and a thousand dollars to over 200,000 for first place and watch the sport of bodybuilding give birth to the billion dollar supplement industry, the multi-gazillion dollar franchising of Gold's Gym, World Gym, Powerhouse Gym, 24 Hour Fitness. I was a part of the fitness boom in the 80s where we saw it on TV and I'm capturing all of that in the evolution of bodybuilding. More importantly, we're getting a perspective from these champions, what it was like when they were there. What was it like for Frank Zane in 78, 79? What was Frank Columbo and Lou Ferrigno thinking in the 70s when they came on the heels of Arnold Schwarzenegger. The dynamic has changed a lot because what I found so far is early on those bodybuilders competed for the passion and, and the glory and the self-gratification of accomplishing something. And now what we find is it's a business. They're competing for the money. Jay Cutler is a cash cow in bodybuilding and, and that's happened as a result of these pioneers. There's bodybuilders doing other things the world needs to know about. And this documentary is going to bring all of those things into focus. These champions need to be seen by everyone. It'd be nice to get this thing in a movie theater. I mean, there's a lot of opportunities that can come from this. We know for a fact at some point in time, it'll wind up on a DVD. My partner at Trick Entertainment, his friends work with the airlines. And they get films on the airplanes. And what better place than to capture someone and expose them to this industry. We have some big plans for this documentary. When and where it's released and how, we're not there yet, but the main thing is just gathering this information while our people are still breathing and still healthy. So that's one of my babies I'm working on. I'm looking for a January 2012 uh, release of that because there's so much stuff there. And I'm hoping that out of all of my bodybuilding accomplishments, that that will be one of the greatest things that I leave behind me when I leave the planet Earth.